Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Civil PE exam construction depth section. So let's dive in. A trench is excavated for a new sanitary sewer force main. The depth of the trench is 16 feet in type B soil with sloping toward the cut. How far must the support and shield systems for the trench extend above the top of the vertical cut side of the trench? So this is a construction depth question. And in the construction depth exam, you will be given OSHA regulations. So that is going to be how we solve this problem is using the OSHA regulations. So we look specifically at OSHA 29 CFR, that means Code of Federal Regulation, 1926 subpart P, Appendix B, and we're going to look specifically at section, section figure B.1-2, because we're given in the problem statement, we're told that we're dealing with type B soil, and this figure applies to type B soil. And if we look at this figure in the regulation and look at what's explained, we see that they're talking about excavations 20 feet deep or less. So our depth in the problem statement we're told is 16 feet. So that would apply to us with type B soil. And we're told that excavations 20 feet or less in depth, which have vertically sided lower portions shall be shielded or supported to a height at least 18 inches above the top of the vertical side. So if we look at the problem statement and the answer choices, we see that that is answer choice B, 18 inches is the height that the trench shield and support system must extend above the top of the vertical cut side of the trench. So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice and review, as you prepare to take your civil PE exam, Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE, breath, and depth review courses for more practice, and we'll see you there.